Hi guys, so it is Saturday and it's beautiful out. It's actually only like, I want to say it's like 70 something degrees out. Is it 70s? It's nice out. Um, we are running errands as usual on the weekend. Sorry, I had like this urge to sneeze and for some reason I thought if I flattened my nose it would go away. Um, it's our errand day, so we are going to Menards right now to look for some shelving units um, for our basement. We kind of rearranged the basement yesterday. I'll show you when we get home, just to make it more, just cleaner looking and just more suitable for what we need. And then we are gonna go to Best Buy because John needs to return something, and then we're gonna go to either Target or Toys R Us to get um, costumes for the kids for Halloween. I am like, not. I've never been that mom who's like planned out what their kid's gonna be months before <laughs> Halloween. Like I feel like people have been asking me for the last three weeks what the kids are gonna be for Halloween and I just don't know. Like I just have never been that way. I wish I was that way, but I've just never been that way. Um, I think it's because when I started being a mom, I was obviously younger and a single mom. So like I had to work three jobs and was really busy so like Halloween costumes weren't the first thing on my mind but um I wish it was that way because then I would not be last minute shopping right now for Halloween costumes why well, wants to be a creeper from Minecraft if you guys know what that is um but yeah so we're gonna just run errands my dad's gonna come over for dinner tonight we're gonna have Chinese because he is home alone my mom is gone for the weekend so when he's home by himself I try to like feed him sometimes because, and it's nice because the kids get to see him and Ava's home this weekend. So we're looking for tap cons because you can't do anything in our basement with shelves without having to get a bunch of other crap because our walls downstairs are cement. So you need like a special drill bit and you need special like mounts and all this other junk. So it's A, not cheap and B, it's not like super simple, like snap your fingers, screw in some holes and there you go. like. Because it's cement, it's like everything takes extra, extra everything. So I got my sweatshirt. This is, um, I got this from Dick's. People are asking online where I got it because I posted a picture of it. But I love it. This thing like doubles as a hood. Like you pull it over your head as a hood. But anyway, so I'm just wearing this with um, jeans and my tennis shoes. But it's a really comfy and warm like sweatshirt. And it looks nice. It's like sporty, but it's also like nice looking. So I'm, I love it. My phone's ringing. Somebody's actually calling me. I didn't want to ride in her stroller, so I had to go and buy some gummy snacks for her to keep her happy. Are those good yummies? I did nummies. So John's being forced to buy some or exchange something today because either I, we used a reward certificate. So I guess if you want to like return the thing to get your reward certificate back, you have to wait two weeks for it to like reissue, or you can exchange the same day. So John's just gonna exchange his headphones. See him over there for something else. I don't know where the other kids went. Ava, Wyatt. Hi. Oh, there they are. <laughs> you guys just got so many new Skylanders at home. You don't need any more. You don't need it. These kids are spoiled. <laughs> They're looking at the new Skylander stuff. They're saying how spoiled they were already. Actually, we like to say lucky, because I feel like spoiled kids act like brats. They're not spoiled, they're just very lucky. Sometimes they act like brats. Yeah, I do, they do sometimes. Most of the time they don't, though. They're pretty good. Look at him, he's like, mm. this is Skylanders, if you're wondering. Bill, I blame Bill for getting Wyatt into Disney Infinity and Skylanders, which is like a never-ending thing. Yeah, Bill just, Bill just sent... Um, 12. I want to say 12 new Skylanders for Wyatt to play with, which is so nice of him. And Wyatt's just been so excited to play with all of them. What are you doing, bud? So the costumes are pretty picked over, but that won't stop us. We'll find something good still. It looks like all of the Hans. Oh, look. Oh, there's. <gasps> How to Train Your Dragon 2. Oh, that's Astrid. <gasps> you want to be Hiccup? White loves How to Train Your Dragon right now. It's a hiccup outfit. Do you want to be Darth Vader? Do you want to be a Jedi Knight? What? Who is that? What are you going to be? I'm going to be this. this Jeng Jango Fett? No, Boba Fett. It says Jango Fett on it. It's not the same character. 
I've oh. never seen that movie. Oh, gotcha. I've seen the original three movies. Okay, cool. Now we but just gotta figure out. The nice thing is this Boba Fett and Jango Fett, they're the same person on the inside because they're clones of each other. So we're home. Now comes the fun part of trying to figure out like how to configure this shelf thing that John got. We didn't actually find the shelf, all the shelves that we were looking for. Um, the corner shelves that we were looking for actually go are at uh, at Meyer. So we have to go, or John might go to Meyer by himself to get those. But yeah, so this is what we did. I'll just show you the basement because I'm bored and I have nothing else to do. Um, so we move stuff around in the basement. If you weren't familiar with what our basement looked like before, it might not mean anything to you. So this is what it looks like all together. That's our bathroom. Um, and then we have this little thing right here. So basically that chair used to be over here and then this second one over here, these shelving systems used to be under the TV. We moved the chair over there and the couch over more. So now there's less space over here but more room over there. And then we place the shelf over here. John's gonna drill it into the wall because all of our shelves are drilled into the wall for safety reasons. So now all of the princess castles have a place and are off the ground and then all the toys I went through and got rid of a bunch of toys that the kids weren't playing with anymore or that they outgrew to donate to our church. Um, so there's that. And this wall is still basically the brooder wall full of trucks and then I picked up a Melissa and Doug uh, puzzle rack thing and there's another one coming from Amazon to put the rest of the puzzles in. And then, um, yeah, so then this is just where the rest of the stuff is. So it's opened up this area a lot more, and I think it looks really nice and stuff. So if we ever want an ottoman, we can put that there. And the kids are basically growing out of a lot of toys, so it's nice that we have more room down here. And then there's our laundry room slash my um, crafting room and John's office is in there. Um, but John's going to figure out what to do with this because this is just not looking very nice. We need to redo all of the paneling down here because it's just like warping from the wall because it's so old and moisture collects on the cement walls. But what we got, what we want to do is we want to get some corner shelves to put here to put the PlayStation and White Skylanders and the kids' other uh, games that they play on those shelves so that they're kind of hidden but they're off of the ground. And again, John bought something to clean up that area. And yeah, that's Marker from Wyatt when he was younger. Um, so I don't know. I don't have any more of the paint left over that I repainted everything in. So we're just going to have Marker on our wall and it's just going to be, that's just what it's going to look like. Dogs are barking. Oh, there's the kids. So... It's a beautiful fall day. Why it's jumping in the leaves. Kaya's left alone in that car. Nobody's driving her. She's like, I can't reach the pedals. Ava and Daddy are raking and the neighborhood dogs are barking at us. I am going to try to clean up the house. Dad's coming over in about two hours to eat dinner. We still have seven subscription boxes that we need to do um, unboxing videos, so John and I are gonna film those tomorrow. Those will be up the rest of the month for Boxtober, which John was so proud of that. He was like, we can call it Boxtober. And I was like, okay, John, we'll call it Boxtober. So yeah, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna clean. I already cleaned up the piano a little bit. I don't know why, but for some reason this piano, it's just like when you walk in, people just put stuff here. It's like the place to just like dump stuff on. So I I don't know what to do. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna do that and then vacuum the house and stuff and do what I usually do on a Saturday. So it's 8.52. And the two older kids just went to bed a little bit ago. My dad came over and we had dinner and then ice cream. And then we watched the rest of a movie that we had been watching earlier. And Kaya is beyond exhausted. She didn't take a nap today, which is our fault, not hers. We just, our errands just interfered with it. And she's not one to sleep out in public anymore. Wyatt will do that, but Kaya doesn't. Kaya needs to be like in her bed um, and she'll take like a two hour nap, but she skipped that today and she is beyond exhausted. I know she looks cute, but don't let that face fool you. She was a monster a few seconds ago. So John gave her a little bedtime snack. Now she's got her nine and Wawa and um, I'm waiting for the two older kids to kind of settle down before I put her to bed. But so is the life of shared uh, bedrooms with kids but you know what I keep asking the kids do you want to be in a separate room do you want to be in a separate room and they keep saying no so whatever um 
But yeah, it's not always peaches and cream here. Kai was screaming up a storm because she was just, she's just overtired. So I just posted a new vlog and um, I should probably clean up downstairs, but I need to put her down first. I don't know. Yeah, and I need to paint my nails. My nails are terrible right now. Look at that. It's like the worst they've ever been, I think, on camera. Um, so I'll probably paint my nails tonight after I do a face mask and stuff. Because that's what I do. That's my time to myself. Right, Kaya? Right? Yeah? Are you putting your foot in the camera? Is that your foot? What's on your foot? Puppy. Puppies? What do puppies say? Woof. Woof, woof. What does a duck say? Quack, quack. Quack, quack. What does a piggy say? Piggy. <laughs> no. Piggy say oink, oink. No, no. What do kitty cats say? No. What do race cars say? Boom, boom. Boom, boom. <laughs> She's not always easy, but she sure is sweet. Did you just burp? What do you say when you burp? Burp. No, you say, excuse me. Um. <laughs> I thought you were sleeping. Are you going to lay? <laughs> yes, no. Go to lay. What's going on, sweetie? Are you pretending to be asleep? <laughs> that kids are asleep. All of them are asleep. It's amazing. I'm in our guest room. I don't know if I've showed you guys this room since we moved the kids over to the next room, but I'll show you now. So whenever anybody stays here now, they can just stay in here. This used to be Wyatt's old room. This is our guest room now. We've switched out some stuff. And then we have the pack and play in here because when I nanny um, during the week, uh, the little baby sleeps in here. So yeah, I think it looks really nice. And I'm happy because now it's like always kept neat and tidy, whereas before Wyatt used to destroy this room. So yeah, and then the kids are next door sleeping. I am going to get in my pajamas and get ready for bed. Or not for bed, but I'm just gonna get ready for the night. I'm so sick of being like a woman. I know this sounds pathetic, but it takes so much work, I feel like, some nights to, like, get ready for bed. Like, something so simple as getting ready for bed. Even if I'm not wearing makeup, which I won't even get started on that. But, like, even when I'm not wearing makeup, it's so much work. Because I still have to wash my face. And then I have to use my toner. And then I have to use my moisturizer. And then I like to do masks because my skin has been so much better since I've been taking care of it. Even John was like, your skin's so soft since you started, you know, using the Clarisonic and taking care of it with all the stuff that you've been doing. And it has been, and it looks a lot better, and it feels a lot better, but man, it's like, when you just want to go to bed, or just veg out, and just be done with the day, it's like, oh my goodness, pulling teeth, just to like, do that. So, I'm gonna wash my face, get into my PJs, and then paint my nails, because John even said something. He was like, uh, you haven't done your nails in a while, have you? And then I'm gonna do my nails downstairs, and we're gonna watch a movie, um, because that's our exciting Saturday nights, but, uh, I'm like dreading getting ready for bed. See, I just washed my face and this camera still makes my face kind of look like it's greasy. So I really think it's the setting on this camera that's making me look so gracie all the time okay so this one the apple mask by misha i love it i love 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 it absolutely love it now to pick out nail polish so what color am i gonna do this one's pretty, I'll do this one. This one's Partner in Crime. I just picked this one up when Lisa was here. She got me this from, this is one of the nail polishes she got me for my birthday. It's kind of similar to Wicked, but I think it's a little bit browner than Wicked, so I'm interested in seeing how that shows up. So I'll try that one tonight. And then I got my nail polish remover, that's my favorite. And then get my top coat, which is my favorite, Sesh Beat, and my bottom coat. 
And then I'll take those downstairs and I'll paint my nails. What you doing? This is one of John's favorite tech vloggers. What's his name? MKBHD. Looks like he messed up his hand. Of course you know that. <laughs> So here's my little nesting spot. I'll sit here and watch a movie while I paint my nails. Eleven thirty in our house and Kaya woke up screaming in the middle of her movie, which is fine, we don't care about her movie, but she's just hot. Teething just stinks. Like I mentioned in another video, like, all of my kids at two years, when they started getting their four molars, just, oh my gosh, I hit them hard and it lasted a long time. She's hot and just not happy. So we're going to change her into some lighter pajamas. Maybe give her a little bit more Tylenol and then put her back down in a little bit. Oh boy. Got my nails painted, though. <laughs> before she woke up. Look how sweet she is. We successfully finished our movie. Without falling asleep. Without fa John always falls asleep. He always, and he's always the one who asks me. He'll be like, hey, hey. You want to watch a movie? <laughs> and then five minutes in, he falls asleep. And I get so mad because I'm like all excited to watch a movie and then he falls asleep. Uh, so we came downstairs and he was like, you want to watch a movie? And I was like, no. And he's like, I promise I won't fall asleep. And I think the only reason why you didn't fall asleep was because Kai woke up a few times. That and you sat on the most uncomfortable area. On the floor. <laughs> But um, we finished our movie. We watched Lucy, I guess is what it's called. It has uh, Scarlett Johansson and um, oh, what's his name? Not Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> no, it's not Samuel. Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> and it, I didn't recognize any other other any of the other actors in it. Actor um, but it's kind of a weird movie. I mean, I guess it's it was it was a decent movie. It was sci-fi. It was a decent movie. I wouldn't say go run out and watch it right now by any means, but we finished our movie. It's only still like, it's not even midnight yet, <laughs> and I'm exhausted, um, but I'm going to go upstairs and brush my teeth and get my night guard in because my jaw's killing me because my stupid TMJ, and then see one more thing that I have to do before I go to bed. Um, I know, it's so hard. So John's not complicated at all. I get so jealous about how uncomplicated he is. He gets to just like take a shower, towel dry his hair, run a little stuff in it, that's it. it. Brush his teeth before he goes to bed, that's it. He doesn't wash his face, he doesn't do anything. And I'm just like, ugh. Swish, swish, wash with mouthwash. Yeah, but that's not the extent. I got my nails today. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, speaking of nails, I got my nails painted, so that's, like, step one. I've, it's so bad, like, people, I've had people be, like, who see Instagram pictures of me be like, you never not have your nails done, what's going on? And I'm like, I know, I don't just have been, this last two weeks, I don't know what's been going on, but I've just been slacking on everything. But I also painted my toes for the first time in, like, three or four weeks, which is unlike me, because I usually do my nails once a week. What is this? Oh, it's like, <laughs> starving games. It's um, it's like a funny version of Hunger Games. Anyways, so Kaya's back in bed. She's so sweet. I cuddled her a little bit. She makes my heart when she's sad. She she wakes up. Oh my gosh, she's like she screams in pain. And it's when I think I know I'm pretty positive she's teething, but man, oh, breaks my heart. Um, but yeah, we're I'm gonna go upstairs, brush my teeth, get my night guard in, and go to bed. Or at least just lay in bed and probably watch something on my iPad. But anyways, hope you guys had fun with us uh, today. It was kind of boring, sorry, but that's just kind of our lives. But anyways, so if you don't mind boring videos like this, let me know. Have you ever seen Gravity? Yes, remember Lisa and Bill were here and we were watching part of it. And I, I do like it. No. 
Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.